Well, welcome. My name is Dr. Sandra Stubbs and I am the CEO of I Finish Strong at Richmond Center. And I'm here to just encourage you this month of November. Man, can you believe that we have almost made it through the whole year in 2021? What a year. And so many of us have had ups and downs and all arounds, but yet and still, you're still here. And so one way that you can assure that you're gonna find happiness and peace in these next, in the next month or so, next couple of months or before 2022, find time to be grateful. Normally in November, we take this time for a reflection, Thanksgiving, to shift our attitude to an attitude of gratitude. This is an opportunity for us to do that. And when you do that, you realize that there's less stress, that there's less challenges when it comes to mood because you've chosen to put your mind in a place of relaxation. Here's a quote for you. It's a funny thing about life. Once you begin to take note of the things you're grateful for, you begin to lose sight of the things you like, Jeremy Kent. You know, it's the shifting of the focus. Our focus these days are taxed with beeps and bops and YouTubes and TikToks and emails and watch notifications. And there's so many things vying for our attention. But let me remind you, you have the power to choose where your focus goes. And where focus goes, energy flows. So if you focus your time on gratitude, thanksgiving, what are the things that you're most grateful for? Take a minute and think about it. Hmm. 2021 has been pretty tough. And so you may be scavenging through the rubble of 2021 to find something that you're grateful for. So let me encourage you, start with something small. I'm grateful for the activities of my limbs. I'm grateful for the ability to speak, to think, to talk, to walk, to show up when I need to show up. And can I tell you this also? That this gratefulness just didn't come, you know, sideswipe. This gratefulness came from lack. When I was blind in my left eye for six months, when I began to see again, oh man, I was so happy, so elated, so grateful, so thankful that my sight had returned. I'm encouraging you to take a moment to be grateful for some things that we take for granted every single day. This is your opportunity to just look around and be grateful for the small things. Grateful for a roof over my head. Grateful that my children are safe. Grateful that I've been graced one more day on this earth to experience life. Thanksgiving shifts your focus from what you lack. If I'm focused on what I'm lacking or how I came short or how I did, wasn't enough or couldn't be enough, oh man, depression lurks on the other side of that table. Gratefulness shifts my heart's responses. It shifts my mood and my attitude. A thankful heart is not only the greatest virtue, but the parent of all virtues. So be encouraged this month. Allow this thankfulness, gratefulness to permeate, permeate from your being so that other people around you can feel this joy and your environment can shift. So allow that to happen. If you wanna turn your life around, try thankfulness. That's not only a mental shift, that's a heart shift. So we are at I Finished Strong at Richmond Center grateful for you. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your healing process. Our hopes and our prayer for you is that God's light will shine through your heart, your mind, your soul, that you would be able to see that his hand of blessing and favor rests upon your life. So be blessed and have a great November.